Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monique Macrin and I appreciate the fact that you've clicked on this video and my hope is that you're going to enjoy and learn something. So please, if you do, like, share and subscribe. Okay, so karibu nisana. As you can see in the title, I will be discussing the changes that occur in a woman's body during pregnancy and after delivery. Now, before we even we come to the changes, um... Siju kama moist ya watu wakisema that if you become a woman, not really if you become a woman, that if you give birth, your vagina is going to widen or let's, let, let's put it how they put it, your vagina is going to be loose. That's number one, yeah? Something else that they say is that you will not be able to hold urine, okay? And in some cases, so nasema, actually, there's this guy who said that, hi, Karibu, there's this guy who once said that, no, welcome, I'm recording, get it up. Nifungia vizuri, please. It's just be five minutes. So there's this guy who was saying that, ati bibi yake akiamuka sobohi mkojo kulik. And he was saying, ah, like misio ni kitu wana wakioto pitia. That is another assumption. The other assumption is that when you become a woman, back pains will become a norm. Aha. Another assumption is that, who are you saying maybe actually that mwili yako itashikana? Like, siji kwa mwesikia this joke maybe with your aunties ama your shoshos. Ah, naja mimi nilisha kwa mama, sasa mwili yangu imeshikana, siwezi kufanya hivyo. So those are things that what to say more that they happen to your body. Some of them are right, some of them are wrong. Now, is on it addressed in part two of the video, but also the changes in Yenita discuss Sahis will be able to explain some of those assumptions. So, so straight into the main, main, main topic of the day, that is the changes in a woman's body during pregnancy and after delivery. I'll be focusing on three areas, that is the vagina, the pelvic floor, and the spinal cord. Now, we'll start with the, uh, let's start with the pelvic floor, okay? So now, this is what happens. There's a hormone called relaxin that is produced during pregnancy. Now, this hormone is a role very important during pregnancy, but also in a, in a cause some changes that, you know, inhibit... No, let me not put it that way. In a cause some changes, ambazo, if you don't do some things that I'll be discussing in part two, it affects the way you function normally. One of those changes is that it loosens your ligament and the joints in the pelvic floor. Now, that is a you need the relaxing hormone. The other thing is that this fetus in Yemtu Anabeba, it keeps on increasing in size and weight every other day or every other month. Now, this weight is being felt by the pelvic floor because it support the baby. Yeah? So, now what happens is a lot of pressure on the pelvic floor. Those muscles are going to weaken. Sour. So in the pelvic floor, number one, there's the loosening of the joints, loosening of the ligaments, and the weakening of the pelvic floor muscles. Now, what happens is that with these changes, there's a likelihood you have to pelvic pains, or what is commonly known as joint pains. Actually, in this video, see that we any technicalities. Nita sema biloko mtani tuna sema. Mtu anaskio chungu kwa hips, ama mtu anaskio chungu kwa bat, on the sides of the bat, penye ni natere mka kwa mgu, all the ways to the toes. There's all of the pain and Pia some women claim that orgasm in a this reduction of intensity in their orgasm. Okay, so now let's go to the vagina to memaliza with the pelvic floor. With the vagina, this is the birth canal, so definitely that is where baby passes through. And now you can imagine this is a human head, yeah. Now in a picture that small, you know. Saki could say a small hole, but it's a hole. So <laughs> if this head is going to pass through there, lazima kutakwana stretching. Now with the stretching, there's something we call elastic limit. And I'll be discussing that in part two. So you have so many reasons for you guys to, you know, wait for part two of this video. It's going to be very informative now. Back to the topic. So there's a lot of stretching that happens to the vagina. That means the opening of the vagina may not be the same as it was before baby, even after delivery. The other thing is that ear stretching, the muscles are being stretched and overstretched for this matter. So they will weaken. So as much as this vagina is going to come close to normal as it was before, it might not come back with the right muscle tone. Sour. So in such a case, utaitaji kuisaidia kurudi vizuri with the right muscle tone. And I'll be discussing that in part two. So we've, uh, we've finished with the pelvic floor and the vagina. Next is the spinal cord. Now with the spinal cord, spinal cord ina kakitu kamae. 
actually yes this is a model of spinal cord now unaona hii shape iko hapa this is the curvature this is the spinal curvature now when you're pregnant um the thoracic region and the lumbar regions in a co affected because they said no to not go uh, because um sorry for that i'm saying when you're pregnant the center of gravity when a shift and moves towards the abdomen but lazima mwili adjust because you know you have to continue with your activities the like the way you should that is why for most women mtu anatend ku turn kichwa hivi let me demonstrate something like this mtu anatembea hivi when that happens there's something that to me you talk about the curvature of the spine yes so there could be loss of that spinal curvature tunasema kuna reduced lordosis of either the lumbar or the uh, thoracic region if that happens a nerve might be pressed a disc might might move or the disc spaces might reduce and what that translates into is the back pains zenye nyinyi huwa mnasema that ni kawaida ya kuwa mama na mara mnaikila family planning so if you experience those things like back pains lower back pains hip pains pubic pains leg pains part vaginal pains after delivery sure that it is because of the changes that happen during pregnancy and after delivery and here's the good news you do not have to live with those discomforts there is a way you can be able to manage it and i'm here to help you okay so please stay tuned for part 2 of this video i'll be discussing on you know different ways you can be able to manage those changes eh twache kusema mwili ilishikana after kujifungwa angao eh anyway yeah